Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to the edition of Programming Wizards. So for today, we're going to look at how to uh, in your, how to bind your data grid view to more than two tables, okay? More than two database tables. Like this is what I'm talking about. As you can see here, this is the first four columns, ID, name, uh, position, and team. These are from a different uh, table in the database, okay? We're using MySQL database. Well, this head coach right here, this is a, a combo a combo box column okay now this combo box column is filled from a different table from the other one okay it's the same database the same as SQL database but a different table now to start you guys off uh, you can see uh, here I have this uh, database known as players TB you can see it has the two tables coaches TB and uh, players TB okay so uh, the players TB will contain the players then uh, the coaches TB shall contain the coach. These are the columns, okay? Now you can see uh, these are some of the columns. So, uh, guys, uh, this, this is the database that you shall be using. So, please uh, welcome, we we'll get started. So, guys, as usual, uh, please start uh, after creating your database in the WAM server. Please come to your Windows form, uh, click File, New, Windows Application. Then, uh, on your form, just drag a uh, a data grid view okay you can see i have my data grid view it's included inside uh, a group box that's all uh, then the next thing uh, please come to your references click right click it click uh, add reference then search my SQL, uh, dot data to your reference then add it to your project please if you can't see it over there you need to install my SQL connector go to my SQL website uh, download my SQL connector for dot net Install in your machine. By the way, we have a tutorial about how to configure and connect uh, your Visual Studio to work with MySQL. Okay. Now, this is the very first thing we're going to do. We're going to initialize uh, some stuff right here. Now, uh, we shall define our connection string. So, mine, uh, my server is localhost. Okay. Then uh, my database is players db players db. Okay. Then uh, my UID is root. And then uh, my password. I'll use the default, which is blank. Okay. So that's uh, these are my details for my connection. Then the next thing I'll create my SQL connection object con equal to new mysql connection object then uh, over there i shall pass con string connection string then uh, another thing that i shall need later on that i'll declare here is the data table dt equal to new data table okay okay guys so after this one i shall come uh and define a cl uh, method that shall be responsible uh, for loading our data okay remember we have two tables so i'll call it a uh, private uh, void load data okay now the first thing uh, i shall uh, create my SQL data adapter object then i shall also create a uh, my SQL mysql command i shall declare it mysql command cmt then uh, after that one the next thing that we shall need is a data set i'll create it right here data set equal to ds then the next thing uh, i shall come and create uh, our select statements No, uh, my first select my first select statement shall be I shall say string. I'll call it a uh, players SQL. Let me just call it that way. Then select asterisk uh, from. Then my table is uh, of course players TB. Okay. Now th this one shall be the first select statement. I'll copy paste it. 
over there we shall have the second now this one shall be coaches tb and this one i shall change to a coaches coaches sql okay now those shall be my select statements after my select statements uh, the next thing i shall uh, initialize my cmd so say cmd uh, equal to new mysql command then over there i shall pass uh, my first player okay let me just come and comment now this one a uh, player table so for the player table i shall pass players sql and then uh, i shall also pass the connection object now after that one uh, the next thing uh, that we shall do a uh, command say adapter the select command equal to cmd then of course uh, after that one now we fill uh, our data set okay adapter dot fill then this is just a string then after that one uh, now we come and deal with uh, our coaches so say a uh, coaches table now for the coaches table i'll just come and say adapter adapter dot select command dot command text okay now for the command text i'll just give it this one okay this coaches as well no this shall be uh, the sorry coaches as well okay then uh, of course we also fill it uh, we add it to the data set we fill the data set now adapter uh, dot fill i pass uh, the ds and then uh, a string coaches okay then after that one uh, remember uh, earlier on i had we had created some uh, data table object now this data table object uh, this one is what we shall use to add uh, to the combo box column so we have to assign it data right now now to assign it data we will just say uh, ds dot tables then we give it the second table okay which is uh, one okay then after that one uh, we return a ds this one let's have this one uh, to be returning uh, the data set so guys in fact uh, before we proceed on let's now bind it uh, and then see uh, see uh, like you you see that uh, so far so far we've not added the combo box column but we just uh, by want to see the data from the first table so here just pass a uh, load data okay then i'll run it i'm expecting data from one table no okay i know the error now we should we should this one it should not just be a data set then dot tables then we pass uh, that particular table we want to uh, data from this very first table okay at position zero so let's run it and guys you can see uh, here is our data from the first table now the second table is where which shall have the combo box columns okay this is the co it shall have the combo box columns and that is now what we want to deal with so we shall just create another method uh, i'll call it a uh, okay let me comment combo column now I'll come and say a uh, public void add combo okay now the first thing the first thing uh, we are going to add the column now to do so i uh, just say data grid view uh, combo column combo okay we're now going to instantiate the data grid view combo column then after that one we shall set its header okay its header and named uh, properties so the header text this is what shall appear as the head coach okay 
and then the name uh, I've just let me just uh, give it a combo okay now th those are the uh, name and header properties header text now the next thing I'll just create an array list I'll call it let me call it row because this is what we want to add uh, the raw data to this particular array list equal to new array list then after that one uh, now we come uh, we want to add data we want to fill the array list from from the data table so let me comment say fill array list from data table okay and remember the data table I uh, had the data for the second table now say for each data row I'll call it dr in dt dot rows now this one shall return for us a collection of all the rows uh, in the data table now uh, to fill our row array list just say a row we we'll use the dot add method row dot add okay then uh, inside there uh, we pass dr then we pass the name of the particular column now uh, the column that we want is the name okay now the name of the head coach please take note that when uh yeah the head coach uh the the, the name property that is what we want to pass and then uh, i'll convert it to in fact it's to string but i'll just uh, make sure that it is to string okay and now uh, this one we shall populate our array list now after populating our array list we we'll need to uh, add that array list to combo okay add that row to to combo now come and say combo uh, which is our data grid view combo column object dot items dot add range now uh, the add range method expects an array so we convert our array list uh, to an array okay then after that one of course we come and add that our combo uh, to data grid view and just say data grid view one dot columns okay we add this uh, as a column dot add and then we add what we add the combo okay so that's uh gig that should be it now what we make sure uh we we'll just come here and call it after we had set uh, this one as the data source okay as the load table or the tables as the data source we have to use uh, this one first because remember this is where the data shall be retrieved from the database so if i call uh, this add combo method it shall add the combo box but it shall not contain any data okay so uh we say add combo we call our method and then uh, press F5 to run our program so guys I uh, take note uh, if I click my combo box you can see at uh, the data okay now take note that uh, this data are from a different table okay and then this one is also from a different table so guys I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you have uh, subscribe to this channel like our videos a uh, comment okay share them with the friends and family and please we've covered uh very deeply uh, this issue of uh, combo box combo box columns and data grid view so you can browse for you can search uh you can go to our playlist you'll find more uh, good tutorials for you so please guys uh, take care see you next time